Hello there, welcome to Philbert Flies. I'm Philbert and today I'm going to be giving you a very basic rough and ready introduction to using Pilot 280C with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Pilot 280C is an add-on that's been around for quite a while in previous sims and it's recently been made to work quite nicely with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now I'm not an expert on Pilot 280C at all, but the reason I'm doing this video is firstly because Codename Mossy, one of my uh, regular subscribers, asked me to, and secondly because I think that uh, the program can seem a little bit daunting and I wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to get it up and running. So the first thing you need to know is that you don't just need a copy of Microsoft Flight Simulator and a copy of Pilot 280C, you also need a copy of FSU IPC7 which at the time of recording is available to download for free as a beta version and I'll put a link to that here and also in the description below. You next need to start up your three programs. First of all, you need to start up Microsoft Flight Simulator and get yourself set up at a gate. Secondly, you need to start up FSU IPC7. And thirdly, you need to start up Pilot 280C. And it's very important that you do everything in that order. So here's what uh, Pilot 280C looks like. And the first thing we need to do is set a few config options. You'll need to set a button as your push to talk button or a hotkey. Um, so either on your joystick or your keyboard, I've done both. You will need then to go to PTA, P2A Setup and ensure that Ignore Avionics switch is selected to on. And then you'll need to choose your call sign. So this time I'm going to just call myself Philbert Flies Flight 111 and press save. And that's it for now, that's all you need to do in the config to get things going. You can explore the rest of the options at your leisure. So we'll close that window down. The next thing you need, of course, is a flight plan. Now, I have planned one using SimBrief. Um, I've done a video on how to use SimBrief, which I will put a link to in the description as well. Um, but you can use other flight planners as you see fit. So here's our uh, OFP output page. And what we need to do is copy the routing with the exception of the SID and the star. So I'll do that. We'll go back to Pilot to ATC and we will choose FP Import. We'll paste that down here. Now you need to add your departure and arrival airports. So LGKO and LGAV. LGKO and LGAV. This is uh, cost to Athens that we're uh, playing with at the moment. And make sure that Simbri for Flight Plan DB is selected up here. Obviously, if you're using another program, you can have a play with that at your leisure and then we click import. Now the next thing we have to do is input our SID, our star and our approach. So we'll start with the SID and if we go back to our flight plan we'll double check it was uh, COPA 3 Alpha. So we will choose that down here. You can change the runway here as well if you need to. And we'll check our transition, it's the only one I believe on this SID, yeah, COPA. So we'll choose load and it'll just have a little think. Then we will do the same with the star. We need to choose our runway here as well, so we're going to stick with 2-1 left. And I've forgotten already, <laughs> it was the uh, Vary 3 Alpha star. With the Varix transition. We'll load that in. And finally, once it's finished thinking, we'll choose our approach. So we know we want runway 21 left and you can choose which approach to 21 left you want. Um, it's recommended the uh, ILS Yankee 21 left approach and I'm happy with that so we'll stick with it. And having looked at the star um, chart I know that we want the KRO transition. So we'll load that in. Now we can check that this plan works by clicking validate but before we do that we need to make sure we've set our cruise altitude so just click on it up here and put in your planned altitude. Ours was uh, 24,000 so that's accurate. You can also adjust your climb rate and various other things but that's beyond the scope of this brief uh, how-to video. Right so we're going to click validate and it'll check the plan and make sure that it works and turn green. Next we're going to connect to the simulator by clicking this connect button down here. 
ubiquitous information Juliet. And you will hear that we start getting the ATIS because it's auto tuned to that frequency for us. Visibility six miles. The final, well, the penultimate thing we want to do clouds. is press file up here to file our flight plan. 2 Good, Current and we're more or less set to fly. Now, depending Arriving on the aircraft you're using, it may, uh, Pilot 280C may or may not be able to tune the COM frequency in the Zulu plane for you, and it may or may not recognize knots. those COM frequencies. Visibility six and that's miles. an SDK limitation with Microsoft Flight Simulator at the moment. I'm sure it will change with time. So the workaround for this is to click on standby down here and that will bring up your uh, P2A COM frequency window and you can Current set all of your COM frequencies in here. Arriving and I'm going departing. to click transfer and that will change us from the um, active frequency to the standby frequency which is LGKO tower. Now you will need to make sure you have power to your aircraft before you do this or that transfer button uh, won't work. So that's it really, we are ready to go and we are ready to make our first call to ATC which in our case will be to request IFR clearance. We've got a push to talk button set in the config so let's see how it works. Filbert flies 111 ready to copy IFR clearance. Filbert flies 111 is cleared to Lima Golf Alpha Victor, climb via the KOPA 3A departure with the COPAR transition, then as filed. Expect departure runway 32. Climb to flight level 130 via the departure. Expect higher clearances 8 minutes after departure. Squawk 3333. Filbert flies 1. And depending on your config settings, your co-pilot will probably read that clearance back. And that's it really, you're underway with your very first flight with Pilot to ATC. Now what I would recommend you do next is to have a look at the manual, particularly page 189 onwards, which uh, includes some grammar starter phrases, which basically tell you exactly what you need to say to ATC at each stage to make sure they understand you. Um, the whole manual is very useful. There is a huge amount of depth that uh, it goes into and it's very clearly written as well. There's also a quick start IFR guide which will take you through step by step what you need to do at each stage of flight. So both those documents are worth a look. And if you still have questions after that, please don't ask me because <laughs> the chance of me knowing the answer is very, very slim. Um, but there's an excellent user support forum on AvSim uh, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Um, and I'm sure you'll find the answers you need in there. If you want to watch my own first attempt at a flight with Pilot to ATC, then check out my Seattle to Chicago live stream, which uh, I will link to below and again in the description. And that's it. I hope uh, you found this useful. As I said, it was never intended to be a full tutorial or a replacement for the manual, but I hope that it uh, will have got you over your first couple of hurdles and uh, started your journey to learning what a great add-on Pilot to ATC is. Thanks very much for watching. Do consider subscribing if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing. And I hope to see you again soon on Filbert Flies. Take care. Bye-bye.